So our research has been uh, dealing with a strategy to uh, confuse the pathogens so that they do not move within the plants. And we have been studying the, the basic biology of the pathogen to find out how do they coordinate their behavior within the plant. We found that it's uh, quite interesting in that they use a small signal molecule, a small fatty acid, to signal between themselves when they become high in cell density within a plant to shut down their ability to move further in the plant. It seems as though they really do not want to over-colonize a plant, if you would, and when they start to become crowded within a vessel of a plant, they produce a signal molecule which each of the cells in a cluster will perceive and they shut down the ability to produce enzymes that are needed to move throughout the plant and to eat the plant as they move, we believe. So what we find then is that the cells transition from a phase where they move wildly throughout the plant to a stage in which they prepare themselves to be vectored to another plant. What our strategy of control has involved is to um, artificially introduce that signal molecule into the plant so that the cells always think that they're in this uh, crowded stage, become sticky, stop moving throughout the plant. And our greenhouse studies have suggested that the cells then will not move very much in the plant after they get introduced. So even if they get inoculated by a vector, the pathogen will not move very much. And so this, this, the cells are basically immobilized in the plant. They won't spread, they won't cause disease. So our particular strategy that we're going to be testing in the field trial involves the use of a transgenic uh, plants where the genes from the pathogen that produce the signal mo molecule have been introduced and uh, the plants are then going to hopefully produce enough of this signal molecule to confuse the pathogen. So we have two or three different treatments out here in the, in the plot as well as a number of controls. One is just to have the entire plant producing the signal molecule. And another strategy though is to have only the uh, rootstock producing the signal molecule and a normal scion grafted onto those plants. And our greenhouse work suggests that at least some of the signal molecule apparently can move from the roots up into the top of the plant. And that'll be one of the strategies that we're trying to test here. So what basically we've got some of the plants where we've got a a rootstock grafted to a normal scion and uh, we'll be looking to see if the scion itself is protected from the effects of the rootstock. But we also have the controls where we have normal rootstocks and, and so on. So our strategy is basically to test uh, pathogen confusion and uh, this, this changing of the plant to make it less likely for the pathogen to move.